Hello, my friends. It's Andy over at nothing. Uh, <laughs> Normally, I say this Andy or at Falco Canine Academy or the Facebook Live TV show or whatever other channel I'm on. Uh, but uh, no, this uh, is on my personal page, and uh, it's because I, I, I just wanted to share. Now, I, I shared several months ago that I had been diagnosed with um, uh, prostate cancer. Uh, uh, and so um, I, I, I have no problem telling you, telling you what I'm about to tell you because I think it is a, it is a, a, a huge contrast. Uh, to what it was I was talking about then that uh, Kaiser was trying to kill me. Now, I should probably say uh, uh, they weren't purposely trying to kill me. I just say that because uh, there's a chance that they might have been. <laughs> so uh, by accident, not on purpose. Uh, but um, uh, what it did is it, it forced me to, because I've taken, you know, you, you get a lot of people that approach you with different things, you know, different diets, different nutritional advice, different uh, other stuff. Not not just when you have cancer, but when just on um, life alone. And so I was always put my faith in um, uh, uh, of doctors and um, the medical industry, and I got to say, big pharma or pharmaceuticals. All right, so I've I've just said, you know what? I, I got to trust that these people are doing uh, what they're supposed to do and know what they're uh, doing, in spite of everything that I hear from other people around me that says never trust. Blah blah blah. All right, so, um, uh, and so uh, I, I I really found it difficult, um, first of all, to go outside. Uh, you know, I can't say that a doctor didn't advise me to do something, whatever necessarily. However, to go outside of just going to my doctors and doing what they tell me to do. All right. So I've done that for years. And so for me to come on and to tell you that I, I found something that has entirely changed my perspective is huge because I would not normally do that. You, uh, you know, of course you have to do your own research and that kind of stuff. So I would suggest that regardless of what I'm telling you, uh, that you research it, uh, and, uh, even hit me up the, for what I'm about to show you, uh, it, for, uh, you know, proof of what I'm talking about is being the truth for what happened to me. I'm not saying it's going to happen to you. I'm just telling you what's happened to me. Uh, I, I want to be open to that too. So if I'm, if I'm willing to open myself all up uh, here on a Facebook live and tell you about what, a, uh, you know, a product that I'm using that is fantastic or a, a system that I'm using that's fantastic. I want to, you'd also know that it's, it's working for me. I don't know for sure it's going to do the same thing for you, but I know other people that have said the same thing that I'm about to tell you. So, uh, uh, as you as you can imagine, I, and I'm sure there's a few of you out there that have had uh, cancer or are going through some cancer um, bouts right now, that when you tell people about it, everybody has a solution. Everybody has a diet. Everybody has some magic pill or magic formula or magic liquid that uh, they suggest to you that you should try. Uh, you know, I could go on and on and on. You know, if you don't know, I help authors uh, write books and become celebrities in their niche. And so uh, to date, I have had a hand in helping about 1600 people write a book and take it to number one bestselling status. Can you imagine how many health and wellness gurus there are in that 1600 uh, number? A lot. And I think I might have heard from every one of them about their solution for, um, uh, you know, beating the cancer, that kind of stuff. So, uh, so when I went to Kaiser this last time and for the second time uh, during the biopsy process, they caused internal bleeding, which caused me to go to the emergency room, what caused me to have uh, transfusions on both occasions. Um, it, it, I, I am more worried not about the cancer. <laughs> I'm more worried about the treatment uh, uh, and what it does to me. Right. And, and I began to think, well, if, if the procedures that you're, they're using, you know, the sticking the, the, the cameras and the, and the, and the biopsy clippy thing that they send in you, if that is possibly, uh, not good for me and, uh, and, and literally been on a, a death gurney, um, after those procedures, you know, Maybe I should start looking at some of the uh, the medications and really consider that taking high blood uh, high blood pressure medication on a daily basis um, can you know what uh, impact is it having on my body and my system right uh, What about the uh, cholesterol uh, medication that they've given me What is that doing in combination with you know, maybe the heart, the uh, the blood pressure medication I'm sure they've done the research to know that those two things can go together But what if what if the same mistakes are being made as were being made during my biopsy? What about uh, anything else, whether it's uh, um, 
you know, cough medicine to Viagra to not that I'm taking Viagra, just so you know, uh, <laughs> um, uh, uh, Flow Max or whatever it is that you take. How is all of this um, harming me or really not doing me any good? Right. So I began to really think, start thinking about it. And I uh, the one thing I can kept hearing about is uh, CBD oil. And so when I first start hearing about CBD oil, I guess maybe being a police officer, I begin to think about uh, medical marijuana and that kind of stuff. And I, I really don't think that that's what we're talking about necessarily when we're talking about CBD oil. All right. And so I've had friends that ha have, have been taking it. I have friends that have been telling me that they've had great results. And I thought, uh, well, let me research it and find out what the negatives are. What, what am I going to find out about what happens when you take it as far as how it you know, does it make you start to slump over? Uh, do you, you know, that long list that you get on the commercials about this is a great medication. However, it could cause you to have a heart attack, death, uh, no more erections, uh, you gain weight and uh, you may uh, lose your mind, right? And, and then it goes on and on and on, right? So um, I wanted to see what those were for CBD oil. And uh, uh, strangely enough, I personally did not find anything that that told me that by taking it, by trying it out for a period of time, that was going to cause me any great harm. As a matter of fact, I found a, a, a solution, which I'm gonna show you right now, that is very low in THC, almost non-existent, so that that's not even a, a factor, all right? And so, um, and I've, I've, I've read testimonials and, and writings about people who've given it to their children because it's helped them with whatever it is that they need addressed and that CBD oil could help them out. So. I finally did it about two weeks ago. Um, I, uh, a friend of mine who's actually become a, a closer friend by the name of Matthew Adams um, told me about the CD, CBD oil that he um, uh, sells and offers to people. And, um, <clears throat> and of all the CBD oils, I found through my research that this probably was my best option uh, because of the, the low levels of THC and they're kind of, they're, they're, they're saying that they're going to come up with a, a um, a, uh, a CBD oil that doesn't have, that has zero uh, THC. So, um, uh, and so, oh, my friend uh, uh, Matthew Adams has just joined us here. I'm going to bring him up in just a minute, but I want to tell you, finish telling you my story and then I'll bring up Matthew and he can kind of even tell you the things that I'm not able to tell you. Um, and so uh, we'll bring you up in just a few minutes, Matthew. Um, and so, um, and so I decided to go ahead and go with it. You know, and it took him days uh, and maybe even weeks uh, to convince me <laughs> to actually try it because I just kept holding back. I go, is this another one of those, you know, crystals that I'm going to hold over my head or a pyramid, you know, uh, solution to, to my problems, to my health problems. And really, I, I, I wasn't so much thinking, you know, it's going to, you know, take away my cancer because I started reading about how it affects blood pressure, how it affects pain, how it affects your mood if you have anxiety and that kind of stuff. And, uh, and I may be by sharing this for the very first time, too, is that um, through uh, probably the years of being in law enforcement and the concussions that I got as a, as a result of some traffic accidents I was in, um, I uh, have dealt with anxiety, memory loss uh, for a very, very long period of time. And so at times, the anxiety can actually be pretty bad. I never share it with anybody. I kind of just hold it in and that kind of stuff. And But it's actually fairly um uncomfortable when I'm going through those things. So I started reading about how it helps with uh, with those types of things, with blood pressure, anxiety, um, mood swings, uh, which I don't necessarily, I don't think I have, except for my children can uh, cause my mood to swing from time to time, um, and uh, pain relief and those kinds of things. Terrible pain in my shoulder for years. A friend of mine, Cameron Thompson, is a dog trainer. She has terrible pain in her shoulder, and I know that she uses CBD oil, and she uh, uh, felt that it was helping her with that. Uh, I think the type she was using, she didn't like the necessarily the feeling of um, uh, grogginess, the amount of THC that was in hers. And that's, again, why I was really interested in finding some that had a low THC. So about two weeks ago, finally get my shipment. I said, you know what? I'm not going to change anything. Uh, I'm not going to change anything about my diet. Right. I'm going to maintain the, the diet, which is not necessarily horrible. I don't do a lot of fast food. Um, uh, I don't uh, eat horribly. I eat sushi and lots of salads and that kind of stuff just because that's what I like. And it's a, a fairly good diet. But I do like to drink beer and wine and that kind of stuff. So I didn't give up any of that. I still use soy sauce. Uh, which obviously is not good for my high blood pressure. I put salt on my steaks. I put salt on my French fries. I do all that kind of stuff. And but I, I said, you know what? I'm not for two weeks. Right. 
uh, uh, two weeks uh, is not going to uh, be any worse than it has been over the last 50 something years that I've been alive, that I've been doing the same thing. Right. So two more weeks of, of eating the way that I've been eating. So I changed nothing. Uh, so TH, uh, the uh, CBD oil, this bottle right here, hemp works, uh, 750 milligrams, I believe, um, of, uh, of CBD oil comes in the mail. And uh, I'm instructed to take about 10 drops underneath my tongue. So you just take the dropper, you drop it, you know, 10 drops underneath your tongue in the morning and in the evening before I go to bed. And I started that program. So now for two weeks. So what are the results? Well, almost immediately, uh, I, I have a really bad sleeping pattern. I sleep maybe two to three hours a night, very broken, waking up, going back to sleep, get up, type on the computer, go back to bed, try to listen to something, try to read. I do a bunch of stuff and just uh, for years, not just lately, for years, I have had a bad, bad sleeping um, pattern, sleeping behavior. I do check my phone. I know I shouldn't check my phone. I try not to check my phone, but what else are you going to do? I lay there and stare at the ceiling for an hour and can't go to sleep. I write in a journal. I do all those things, right? Um, and for years. So immediately, my sleep completely changed. This is the thing that happened first. So I began now sleeping. I've been sleeping six hours a night, if not a little bit more, ever since I started taking the CBD oil. All right, so that alone, I, I'll continue taking CBD oil alone even if it was only because now I get so much better sleep, my, I'm way more clear headed. Uh, I'm not tired in the middle of the day like I like I used to be, like exhausted. Um, and as long as I'm moving, I'm fine. But if I sit down, pff, I'll, I'll fall asleep because of such lousy sleeping. So just that alone, I love this stuff. All right, it's already helped me sleep. Next, uh, I have the the cream that I CBD oil cream that uh, I put on for my shoulder. Uh, so I think in combination between the CBD oil and the cream I'm taking. Uh, my shoulder and my back and my neck have never, okay, I can't say never felt better. It has not felt this good in probably 20 years from what I can remember. Being a dog trainer, pulling on the leash, uh, playing hockey, uh, a, a couple major traffic accidents as a police officer. No doubt I had some uh, uh, issues with that. I have not been this comfortable in my bones and my muscles and my shoulders in years and that I can actually move these things around without going, oh my God, that really hurts. Nothing, uh, nothing to this effect that I feel this fantastic, this comfortable. All right. So that, that I can't really, sh I can show you and tell you that I feel fine. You can come over and, and stay the night and then see if I actually stay asleep and that would be proof enough. So it, but that's really not something that I can really just show you the, the result. All right. So the next thing, and this is really what prompted me to do this Facebook Live. I think the sleep and the, the pain, I would have done a Facebook Live and told you all about it, but it wasn't until I went to the doctors the other day. Um, I, I see a Matthew, um, uh, but you're the, 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 the picture is kind of green right now, unless, um, so I don't know if you turned off your camera or what you did. But um, anyway, and so so what really prompted me to do this Facebook Live and share with, you, uh, share with you the results of what I've seen over the last two weeks? Okay, so remember, I've not changed my diet. I've not done anything other than add CBD oil to my diet. The only thing that changed is I'm sleeping a lot better and I'm in less pain. All right. So those two things are the only things that's changed, but that's because of a result, I believe, of these two things. So I go to the doctors and I have had a history of uh, blood pressure issues since I was um, uh, since I was. In my early 20s, I almost did not get hired as a police officer at LAPD and Anaheim Police Department, LA County Sheriff, where else did I test? A, a, a couple other places I tested solely because of my high blood pressure. So I've had this problem for years. Uh, about six, seven years ago, they started giving me medication. I started with a half a little blue pill. I forget what the name of the blue pill is. I should have brought it with me to show you. Um, but um, uh, they then said, well, now you need to take a whole pill. So for the last three years or so, I've been taking a whole pill of this blood pressure medication. I can't remember a time I went in and had my blood pressure taken that they took the first result because always the first result was always high, always. And they go, hmm, let's take it again. Now, just relax, <laughs> right? They have me uh, meditate in a room. They lower the lights. They do whatever they can. They have me stand up and put my arm on top of the, you know, whatever's next to me, like the printer, so that my, my arm is in a different angle. They do all these tricks to get my blood pressure to come down so they can say, it's okay for me to leave. Because it's always been, always, always, do you hear me? Always been so high that there's always been a concern. Again, I almost didn't get hired on every police department because of uh, my high blood pressure issues. 
right? And even on medication, it really wasn't, it was, it was helping. It was making sure that I it was at least staying kind of close, um, but it wasn't bringing it down to a certain level. So three days ago, whatever it was, I can't remember. It's like four or five days ago, whenever it was that I went to Kaiser to have my blood pressure checked because they have me come in. This is how bad it is. They have me come in to check my blood pressure on a, on a regular basis, not changing my diet, only taking CBD oil. I'm going to show you what happened. All right. So, um, Hold on. How did I do this? I right, bring this back up. So here is my my blood pressure test. And for the first time, do you see that where it says congratulations? <laughs> what? I'm being told. Congr and I read that because she handed it to me. Uh, I'm reading congratulations. You have met your blood pressure goal. And now that part's cut off. But my blood pressure has never, as far as I know, ever been. And I know that this isn't great. I can, I would actually, now if I change my diet, I'm, I'm sure, or continue on CBD, it'll come down. But 134 over 86, again, I know that nobody get on there and say, well, that's not really that good. I'm telling you, it's good for me. It has never been below the target. And this was on the very first reading. The very first reading I went below the target. The target's 139 over 89. My blood pressure is 134 over 86. Uh, and this was two days ago. For the first time ever, my blood pressure is below. And okay, maybe it's not the CBD oil. Maybe it's the sleep that CBD oil has given me that's causing my blood pressure to come down. I don't care. I don't care. Right. I, all I care is that it's down. I'm my goal is to stop taking the high blood pressure medication. That is what I want to do. I don't care how small it is. I don't know what's doing my body, but I know that that's um, something I definitely, definitely want. Uh, Matthew, your screen is still green. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll bring you up in just a few minutes and see if I can fix that. Um, but it's still green. All right. So, so then I'm thinking, wow, I can't wait to tell everybody else who, needs to know about CBD oils because I'm getting better sleep, I'm in less pain, and my blood pressure is essentially now. I know two weeks is, is early. I know that I need to probably have it checked several times in the future. And I and the reason I'm doing this because I want to let you know as I go, and I'm going to share with you uh, the results of what's going on with my blood pressure so you can make a decision. Again, I've not found any reason not to try it. So what if it does work, right? What if you don't take it and it does and it will help you, right? There, if there was something that I found, and I want you, if you find something that says that CBD oil will cause you to grow a third foot or a, uh, you know, uh, you'll go blind or something, I want you to send it to me because I do want to know. I have just not found it. All right. So, sorry, I'm getting excited here. And so just on that, blood pressure, sleep, uh, um, and uh, less pain, fantastic. I'm sharing. I'm going to tell all my friends. But that's not all. I get another message. Uh, I don't know if I, um, I, I, well, I know for sure I'm not shared with you because it really is not, it was not that big of an issue, at least not to me, it's a big deal. Uh, and that is that about six months ago, I think it was maybe close to a year ago, I was told that I was pre-diabetic. I went, what the hell's going on? <laughs> I eat pretty good, I'm, but now I've gotten, I'm, uh, I'm told I have cancer, now I'm gonna be diabetic and I'm gonna, you know, they're gonna have to cut off my foot and I'm gonna go blind. You know, what the hell is going on? I'm gonna have to have, you know, to give myself the you know injections. I go, what the hell? pre-diabetic and it just continued on it didn't go away all right and i changed uh you know i, I changed um you know uh, for a, a period of time when they first told me i tried to change my diet but that didn't seem to affect it um and so now here we come to this time period of two weeks where i go back to my regular diet i stay where i'm at uh which it means nothing changed like i said six months ago is when i changed to see if i'd get some result and i didn't so i get an email at about nine o'clock at night right after you know the same day that i found out about my blood pressure and I get this message from my doctor. And I don't know if you can read it or not, but, so, but I'm going to read it to you. Um, and I just got to find the graphic here. Hold on. I can't see the little screen there. Hold on. Where is it? Uh-oh. <laughs> Hold on. I can't find it. You're probably reading it and already read it already. Hold on. Already. Oh, there it is. Your test for diabetes mellitus is now in the normal range. Great job. So now even my whatever diabetic count or HGBA1C 5.4 reading is now normal. I'm no longer pre-diabetic. What? What? How is it possible? 
So this one is what I can't answer. Oh, I look thinner. Oh, I, I probably do. <laughs> well, I have a, I have a better camera. Um, I, um, sorry, there we go. All right. So, um, thank you, uh, Jordan. I'm going to actually, Jason, I'm going to actually put Jordan. <laughs> sorry. I'm going to put Jason's comment up there because that's a pretty good compliment. Come from. Normally we are busy, you know, and that, that's probably what he's doing. He's probably making fun of me. <laughs> I don't know for sure, um, but um, uh, I feel better, right? My activity level is higher. My mood is so much better. I haven't had an anxiousness uh, moment that uh, every so often I can get it. It's just kind of painful inside, and I try not to let it out. I mean, that's that's been fantastic. So, um, but to uh, have my, I, I got you, Matthew. Uh, to um, to have, um, I'm going to stay solo here. I'm going to bring up Matthew first, though. There we go. There we go. All right. Hey. So I think Matthew, you're gonna have to turn right. off the other face. Matthew, you're gonna have to turn off the other face so that you're just listening to me through BeLive.tv. Oh. There you go. I get through BeLive.tv. There you go. I get. Oh, I can still hear myself for oh. some reason. I can still hear myself for some reason. Yeah. Hey there, Matthew. Let's see here. Hey there, Matthew. Oh, no. Is that better? I think so. Oh, no. I think so. Oh, nope. I can still hear myself in your uh, mic. I don't know. Oh, no, I can still hear myself in your uh, mic. I don't know. No, I don't have anything going here. Hmm. I can hear an echo. Hmm. I can hear an echo. I don't know. Do you have Facebook open? Another on another tab. I don't have Facebook open. Another on another tab. No, no Facebook open. Hmm. I don't know. It's a really delayed echo. You know what I'm going to do though? Is I'm going to ask you. You know what I'm going to do though? Is I'm going to ask you. I'm hearing myself twice. Um, yeah, but if you start talking, then you probably want to hear. So but tell me. Start talking, um, then you probably want to hear. So tell me. Um, tell tell everybody about how long it took tell, you. To convince tell me to everybody me. about how long it took you. Uh, actually, uh, it wasn't that it was just long. It's just that when you came in, uh, and I, you, you came in as a major skeptic. Uh, you look at you. Know, okay, I look at, but I, uh, I don't I'm believe sorry, it. Matt. I'm, I'm sorry, Matt. Matthew, for some reason, uh, uh, audio is not audio is not working, and uh, the echo is really bad. And the echo is really bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're only hearing like part of a word uh, every so often. We're like part of a word uh, every so often. Maybe refresh and then we'll try it again. Maybe refresh. Yeah, I'm so sorry. All right. Well, he, I mean, again, he, he, he has some, uh, um, I'm sure, experience with people going, all right, so does this stuff really work? I mean, does it, I mean, I'm hearing all this stuff and we're reading all the testimonials. Does it really work? And uh, yeah, as a matter of fact, it, I, I'm telling you, I would not, I promise you, I would not. Uh, <laughs> nice boxes, Matthew. Yeah, I like the boxes. I, I was thinking about getting boxes for my background. Um, I'm going to put up, a, I'm going to put a link up here. Oh, you know what? My darn it, my link isn't working. Hold on. Or my, uh, my commenting. So anyway, in the comment section later on, because I can't for whatever reason put co a comment in here. Wow, that's really strange. I hate it when this happens. It won't let me put a, I can write a comment on the screen. So you can go to this URL, uh, hempworks.com forward slash today's CBD, uh, today's CBD oil, today's with an S, CBD oil. You can go there and, um, and, and, and do more research. Read what they have on the website there. Uh, and if you want to order it, you can order it there. But um, um, it really, I'm just going to tell you, it's uh, so far for me, it's been fantastic. Uh, I wanted to share with all you because I had people share with me, right? That's really important. If, if somebody has something to share that actually helps and I use it and I and it, and it helps, it's almost my duty to share with other people um, how much it's impacted my life just in a two-week period of time. I, I cannot tell you uh, how pleased I am and so thankful to Matthew for telling me about it. I'm going to bring him back up and see if we can, uh, if we can hear him this time and see his boxes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's give it a shot, Matthew. Just uh, uh, let's give it a shot, Matthew. Just uh, go ahead. How does that sound? 
You sound good, but I still hear an echo. But go ahead. Still hear an echo. Sorry about that. Uh, the boxes you seem to hide me are, are wax. Oh. Make make oh. candles here. So tons of wax. But uh, no, Andy came in. Uh, when I first showed Andy, he came in as uh, he asked me questions, but he came up as a skeptic, uh, which I support 100%. You know, uh, when, when I came in, I came in as a skeptic too. But he came in as a real skeptic. And he goes, well, I'm not going to talk about this until I see some uh, see it work. And he was steadfast in that. And then uh, got it his first night. And uh, all of a sudden, uh, my, my phone goes off and it goes, wow. And I went, <laughs> what's wrong? And he goes, best night of sleep ever. And I was going like, oh, yeah, right. That's awesome. So that was the first start of it. He got a, he got a good night's sleep and then uh, asked him a couple of days later. And uh, he said he slept better. He's thinking clearer. Uh, he's feeling more alert. It was just, I mean, he just gave me this long list of things that I didn't tell him about. He just, it, it just all came on uh, uh, to him when he started using the product. Yeah. And, yeah. And, oops, oops. Sorry, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> We're switching back and more there. All right, let's try this differently here. Or, there we go. And so, yeah, so those things were amazing. I couldn't wait to tell you. Um, and then the other day I got those other results, which just blew me away. I, again, I would have been happy with just uh, good sleep, and I would have been happy with just, um, you know, maybe even just less pain than I was having. But to have those two things uh, all by itself, I would have, I would have been on the Facebook Live telling people, oh, my gosh, I've had the best sleep for the longest. This has been two weeks now that I've been sleeping so good, um, even with kids coming in. And, and uh, I have five kids, you know, and so and four of them are little and they still come in, that kind of stuff. And um, with all that, I'm sleeping so soundly uh, and I can't say enough about it. But then the blood pressure and the pre-diabetic stuff. Have you have you heard other people having those kinds of results, Matthew, where where it's even affecting people's blood pressure? And um, even, have you heard pre-diabetic symptoms yes. going away? All sorts of things. Even my, uh, well, I'll just use real quick on my blood pressure. Uh, I own my own business before, and and owning that business just it, it, it stressed me out something fierce. My blood pressure, and this is going to be a shocker for some. My blood pressure was one eighty over one twenty three. Okay, and for me to talk about it's one thing, but I got pictures also. And it went from 180 over 123 to 123. No, 132. 132 <laughs> over 93. Well, I mean, I was in shock. And yeah, we hear we hear things about people with diabetes. Uh, we hear things about people with, God bless them, Alzheimer's, um, dementia, uh, kids with ADD, kids with. Uh, um, Down syndrome. It's yeah. Now that was one of the important things that I, I learned that I had no idea is that children can actually take it because I asked you. I said, "Is it okay <laughs> if uh, you know one of my children have something going on that I think this might help with that I give it to them?" Or have you heard people being arrested because they're giving their children CBD oil? And uh, the answer is no. That it's okay, right? Yeah, I have my uh, my granddaughter, and uh, she. Eight, nine months, I'll put some on my finger and I'll rub it on her gums. And she's good. I mean, I got an airplane in the back here. Uh, she's fine. Um, I've given it to them in drops. I'll give it to them uh, around nap time when they get all antsy. Yeah. Uh, and they sleep real peaceful throughout the night. Um, there's nothing addictive in it. There's no T. I I mean, there's like 0 .03 uh, trace of THC in it. So it's not like they're going to get high at all. I mean, I can drink probably a gallon or more of this and I won't feel so much as a buzz. So there's nothing in it uh, other than just see, uh, just uh, uh, cannabidiol. Okay. So I just want to make sure and remind you, this is not a commercial. <laughs> I just want to tell you the results. It just so happens that Matthew does work there and I, I wanted to bring him on because he was available just so he can tell you uh, any, you know, give you any information that you might look uh, or need to look for or want to hear about. Um, we, I put the website up there so you can go there too. This is just telling you what my, what my um, 
uh, results are and what my uh, experience is. Yeah, and this, uh, and again, I'm not telling you that you know, this is going to same thing is going to happen to you because I, I have a feeling that I need to tell say that because of what Facebook has been been going through. I am not, I have not uh, been tested by the FDA or anybody else. I'm just telling you. Uh, here are the documents from Kaiser Permanente. I uh, I'm sharing real medical uh, 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 paperwork and an email that I got. Uh, and I'm telling you my story. My story is that I've had high blood pressure since I was in my early 20s, early 20s when I was testing to be a police officer. They had to put me in a dark room and have me lay down just so that I could pass that phase of the medical. Lay down in a dark room as a 22 year old because my blood pressure was too high. It has never been below what they say my target should be ever uh, as far as they, I've been on medication for a very long time. For a very long time. Uh, and then that pre-diabetic stuff oh, yeah. that came up recently, and now that apparently is, is is gone. So I'm just I'm just telling you what my results are, and I thought it was important enough to share with you, and then bring on a man that has a lot more information about it than I do. Um, is there? Uh, I, I also um, saw on a testimonial that somebody used it for psoriasis on one of their children's skin, and they showed a before and after, and it, it was remarkable. Um, do they have other products besides this type of oil that will be going on on, on skin for that particular thing, and specifically, or do you yeah, just we, got, oil? we do have the uh, we do have a couple of skincare products for women, um, the women's skincare products. We also got a pain relief, which I think you've gotten as well. Uh, we do have some. Uh, uh, that's our next our next stuff that's coming out is a skin wash. And some sh a wash, a shampoo, a body wash, uh, a cleanser, and a lotion. Nice, nice. Now, the, the question I had for you, I think, the also, question was, I had for you, I it, think, also, was it how is it how is it possible that one thing can seem to again? I, I can't make any claims here. Can seem to solve so many pro uh, issues with one person, uh, such as myself, that it, it helps me sleep better. It uh, takes away my pain. It lowers my blood pressure, takes away my pre-diabetic symptoms, and God knows what else is coming. <laughs> well, Will it bring back my hair? This is what made me angry. Mm. Okay? Sorry, plane. This is what made me kind of angry because we've been told so for so long that cannabis and hemp and all, all that are toxic to the system and there's no medicinal benefits whatsoever. But what they failed to tell you is I think it was like 20 or 30 years ago, they discovered our body had what is called an echo cannabidiol system. Okay. Uh, our body is meant to take this, needs this. The echo cannabidoid system is kind of like the transport for your body. And it's not just, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not just cannabis. It's other things that are out there that have uh, a, a a CBD or CBD2 transport system, things like black pepper um, um, and, and several other. I can't remember off the top of my head right now. But those those things have it in there, but they're not to the extent of, the can of, of cannabis. Um, but... Our body was if that's that's one of the things that's going wrong with our body is like, you know, if you're taking all your vitamins, but you're not taking vitamin C and you're crashing and you can't figure out, it's probably because you're not taking vitamin C or something's blocking the vitamin C in your body. And all of a sudden you take vitamin C and you're like, oh, my God, I'm I'm feeling better here. I'm not catching colds. I'm not getting this. I'm not getting that. Those vitamins will take care of that. But the problem is, is that there's a part of our body that requires this to function does that make sense yep yep i got a good so comment not, here, I, oh go ahead it's not like this is curing all of this stuff or fixing all of this stuff it's just your body is getting what it needs to bring in everything else yeah I, and I, again i there's some aspect that i'm sure the sleeping better <laughs> affects yeah. my blood pressure right i mean it's all good so it's 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 kind of tied together Maybe not directly, but indirectly, it, it's powerful, and so I really do like it. I want to I want to read what Ula uh, Tinsley wrote because um, uh, this is important. Because uh, in April, it's um, uh, Autism Awareness uh, Month, 
Uh, but she said that she tried it for her um, son, I believe it was. Uh, yeah, autistic son. And for him, it, it acted as a stimulant. So it didn't work for what it was that they were looking for with him. And he actually slept a little bit less. So uh, apparently uh, the uh, autism or ADHD in some children may have the inverse effect uh, of what you're looking for. So that's really good to know. So there's there's good information. Again, uh, I want to make sure and put out all the information because then in the next uh, statement, she says, so happy it works for you and millions of other millions of other people. It is amazing remedy. So she does know. And that's really great to hear. Right. Somebody that has uh, an experience where they've tried to use it, didn't get the result that they wanted, but yet do realize that it's powerful enough that, you know, she's not saying that it's bad. Right. That it's actually been helping people. And a so good example. A good example of that. It's like uh, coffee, coffee for you, the coffee you're drinking. And yeah. me is a, is a stimulant, but for someone that has ADHD, mm -hmm. if you give them coffee, it tones them down. It, yeah. it, it slows yeah. them down. It makes them tired. Yeah, it, it's yeah. really weird. Yep. And Aaron points out that everybody is different. And yeah, everybody. Uh, every oh, now my now my comment thing is not working. Well, what's going on with Be Live today? Be it's popping up. The, I just saw it. Oh, really? On my end, it's not. So anyway, not important. Um, and so um, this is all really good information. And, I, and I'm really enjoying the interaction with people. If, if there's anybody else that's used CBD oil that's watching, uh, I would love for you to comment, whether you're watching live or you're watching the replay. I don't care where you're watching it. I just want information to come through. And the one thing I don't like is people say, ah, that's BS. And, and without any follow up, like, well, well, how do you know that it's BS? <laughs> right? At least let us know what your experience is or what you've seen so that we know. And so we can... Um, really be able to give all the information that needs to be given. I really would encourage you to do that. So make sure and write uh, in again, whether you're watching us live or watching a replay, um, I want to know that you have um, to share with us. Boom, Matthew nailed it with the uh, coffee and ADHD. Way to go, Matthew. <laughs> I, do, I do my homework. <laughs> All right. So besides the psoriasis, we've talked about all of the things that it's helped me with. Is there other stuff? Um, that people have used it for, or is there uh, another use for uh, the oils or the, the creams? Well, yeah, I mean, there's a ton of stuff. Uh, here, here's what uh, you can do, Andy. If somebody wants more information, get their information. And then if they're your friend, hook them up into the testimonial, the testimonial site, mm. uh, the, the testimonial group. You could just add them, okay? And if you add them, uh, Jenna will automatically... Uh, add them to the group, and they could just go in there. As long as they're in, com you know, in communication with you, they can go in there and look at all of the testimonials that fly in every single day. And these are real people uh, telling what's going on with their bodies. Um, I just had, I just, uh, I just spoke with someone, and the lady is on the lay. I used a different picture, but on, on, a, on a, a picture I put up of a lady that was losing her mind. Hmm. And that was hmm. exactly the way she put it. She was losing her mind. She was losing her memories. She was losing everything that meant was anything dear to her. Uh, and she's remembering things. She's not having to be reminded every day, several times a day. Uh, I mean, that alone is... Uh, it, it totally just lifts my heart, you know, because yep. um, I lost my grandmother to, to uh, Alzheimer's. Mm. And just, there's so many other things that if you just do your research on uh, CBD oil uh, and health, there's, there's things up there that doctors are saying. There's things up there that patients are saying. Yep. It, it really is. And I'm not saying it's a cure-all by any stretch of the imagination. It's just something that works. It's amazing. <laughs> uh, Ula also says uh, that she used um, Henaplex. Do you know what that is? I've never heard of it. Yeah, Henaplex for anxiety, and it helped her a lot. Uh, it slept better too. So I don't. I'm not sure if that. So uh, Ula, if you can tell, is that a CBD based or is it? Um, uh, pharmaceutical. Um, and Aaron brings up a really good point. This is super important because uh, I, I, I. Oops, I almost. Hold on. 
Yeah, this is the one I wanted. Um, uh, it's not showing up on my side of the screen for some reason. But Aaron writes, I also give it to my senior dog, and it has given her a whole new lease on life. And yes, I'm glad you brought that up because I'm going to be talking on the Falco uh, Canine Academy Facebook page about this a little bit later on, that um, there are some products that, uh, um, that uh, this company offers uh, for dogs. Uh, is it dog biscuits, Matthew, or is it something else? Uh, we have dog biscuits and, and, and oil. The oil is 250 milligrams, uh, so it, w it will not harm them in any way. But you put it in their food, or they, you just give them a cookie. Hmm. And if you, uh, and if you uh, give them a cookie, they, they'll be fine. Uh, oh, she's been up for how has she been doing with the CBD? Yeah, this is Lola. Lola, Lola uh, Kim uh, is the owner of a dog named Lola, and I trained this dog to um, alert to the uh, presence of peanut. Um, and uh, because her daughter is deathly allergic to peanuts. Uh, peanut residue, peanut smell, uh, and she will die if she gets exposed to it. So we trained this dog. We ended up on the National Geographic. Uh, and this dog, I know, uh, had a little bit of an issue with anxiety, aggression. <laughs> and uh, uh, Lola says uh, that she's been on it for two years now. And so uh, it, and it has had some positive results from CBO for that dog. Uh, Aaron, back to her senior dog. Uh, oh, she's the one who wrote that. I'm sorry. There was another. Oh, here it is. Um, Ula just wrote that CBD, CBD Nano, a different brand. So I'd say, it, it, but it's another CBD that what she talked about that was helping her with her anxiety um, uh, and helped her with her sleep. So yeah, a CBD based product uh, by another name. And so wh whatever, a CBD oil works, CBD, CBD products, uh, at least again, for me, for it looks like Ula has worked for her, for the dogs has worked for them. If it works for dogs, it's gotta be good, right? <laughs> <laughs> and this is kind of my test. If I'm testing on myself before I give it to the dog, I know people that eat dog food uh, to see how, how it tastes before they give it to their dog. So this is just my, my, um, uh, my test for the dogs of the world to make sure that it works and it's working for me. So I really like it. Um, anything else that you can think of Matthew that, that we should tell people uh, about uh, either my experience or your experience or. Well, my, uh, I gave my experience, my wife, uh, my wife has uh, uh, two issues. She has fibromyalgia, and she also has uh, polycystic ovarian uh, syndrome. Uh, with the with the uh, fibromyalgia, her pain has been reduced. It's just amazing. I can actually one of the hard things about when the loved one has things like fibromyalgia is your relationship. I mean, you mm. can't even go up and hug them, and they shy away from you because it hurts. hurts. You know, it hurts them. Um, I'm actually hugging my wife again. Nice. And she doesn't complain. <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask. I mean, maybe that's just good for you. You know, just make sure that it's good for both. <laughs> yeah, she's happy. She's she's glad she's not hurting anymore. She can actually crawl. Awesome. Climb, I say crawl upstairs. Climb up, climb upstairs, and not be. You know, in, in as much pain. I mean, hasn't gotten rid of all of it, but hey, she's had it for years. Uh, it may take it may take several weeks, it may take several months, but who cares, right? You know? uh, Kim Kim followed up and said for Lola that um, it, it was amazing. She had bad anxiety, and it really did help. Anxiety, and it really did help her. And then, and it's um, noticeable. All of this is noticeable. It's not like you know. You know, it's it's to, to whoever's it's affecting. It's it's very, very noticeable. Yep. And then what she really liked about it because and then what she really liked about it because uh, that it didn't uh, uh, that it didn't uh, it didn't sedate her, uh, make her lethargic. Uh, she still could work and was still on point uh, even on the CBD. So that's really that was really important. All right. Well, I think I, I did my duty and shared uh, with the world, you know, what my results are. And that's really was the point of all this to share with you that, uh, you know, what was it? Maybe two months ago, something like that. I was telling you that uh, I had nearly uh, lost my life in a Kaiser emergency room <laughs> because of a biopsy that they should have went well. Uh, I wanted to follow up and tell you, hey, I got some really good news with my health. Um, I'm going to have an MRI done today at about two o'clock. So a little bit over an hour from now, I'll be getting an MRI uh, to test and see where I am at with uh, my cancer. And that's the first step. Then I'm going to go in and have a biopsy done 
uh, by a different doctor with a different method than the last two times that put me in the hospital. And they're gonna tell me where we're at on that too. So I'll have some answers for you in regard to that because I know people have been asking me, hey, how you doing? How's the cancer? All that kind of stuff. So um, I will find out. I will be, I'll be. i know within probably about a month uh, where I'm at and what we're gonna do with that. But I'm, I'm, I'm hoping the CBD oil will have something to say about it. And that would be can awesome. One, can I add one thing? Yep. Uh, and I'm gonna testify on your behalf. Uh, I'm on the, I'm on the East coast. Okay. And, and Andy's on the West coast. And sometimes I'm up late at night, you know, like 12, one o'clock in the morning and who's on the internet, Andy. <laughs> and then I'll wake up cause I'm an early riser. I wake up at four, you know, I'll wake up at four o'clock in the morning and get some things done. And who's on the internet, Andy. And I'm like, I actually texted this to him. I said, holy crap, dude, don't you sleep? And this was before I talked to him about CBD oil. And he goes, sleep? I get probably about three to four hours of That's a good night. Sleep. <laughs> that was a good night. Day. And then all of a sudden, I'm working with this company. I told him about it, and he tried it. And all of a sudden, like I said, he's getting wow. He's telling me about this, about his sleep. And I'm going, that right there. When I got the text from Andy about how much sleep he was getting, uh, that made my heart, you know, that, that made me feel feel real good. The bags under my eyes, if I get, I don't know if you can see me, but the, I, I always have these really dark circles under my eyes. I don't know if you can see them, but they really are less. If you could, if you would see an old video or an old picture of me, you would see the, the really dark circles under my eyes. Those have even gone away. So I should even add that to the list. <laughs> And being on television all the time as I am, uh, you know, that really matters, right? Uh, and I like that Jason Jordan said I look thinner. So maybe uh, it's helping with that too. I think the energy, I'm just putting out more energy. And so that my, my metabolism is probably I've lost some different. Yeah. Well, I have a small, I have a small, like you, but not, not as bad as you. I have a tumor on my pituitary. Uh, and it makes me very tired. It interrupts, interrupts my hearing and my weight makes me gain weight, but I've actually been losing weight. So that's a, that's a, that's a plus. <coughs> Sorry, snuck up on me. Um, you know, the one danger of doing these things and, um, uh, you know, I've got, I've gone to the gym and be, you know, whatever my, the workout bench that I'm at or whatever. And I always hear these two older guys are probably, you know, just name them. It, it doesn't matter. Like in their late fifties, sixties, stuff like that. And the whole time what they're talking about is all their illness. And so I, 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 I kind of had a fear of doing this. I don't want to sit here and share all my ailments like I'm an old guy, but I did want to share with you that I, I think that I will have nothing to share if I continue with the CBD oil. I mean, that is that would be awesome. If I have nothing to share, I'd be in a group of old men, right? They're talking about all their aches and pains, and I'm going, I have nothing. Why? <laughs> I have nothing. Here, you should try this. Uh, I don't have, uh, you know, having three, I have three different bottles of medication that I take, right? And sitting there in the medicine cabinet, I hate it. It, I, I feel like, um, you know, mentally, I feel like I'm 25, right? And here I'm looking at three bottles of prescriptions that I have to take or else I'm going to have a heart attack and die or get diabetes and lose my foot or whatever it is, right? I want, I don't want that anymore. And, uh, and so I'm hoping uh, now, with a little bit of change in my diet, now I'm going to begin to change my diet because, again, the, the experiment had to be done without a change of diet. Uh, it had to be done just with the only thing being is the is these oils. And um, and so the results are in. Uh, I'm telling you, it's fantastic. And uh, for me, I'm sold. I, I will probably never stop taking CBD oil for the 140 or 150 years uh, that I'm going to be living on this planet. I will continue on. Hopefully, the company will stay in business that long. <laughs> all right anything else anybody else want to comment on there before uh we leave because um i just uh, uh matthew i appreciate the fact that you uh stuck with me with all my questions and all my concerns and all the disbelief that there's no way something could be that good that it will actually um do what it says it's going to do there's so many things out there that don't and uh, i'm just thankful that you uh stuck with me well i've been watching you now for a year, I think, and um, just watching all the work you do and what you've done with, I mean, your daughter was the straw that broke the camel's back for me, for you. <laughs> me too. Um, I mean, the man takes on 
putting his, his his daughter on TV as a cook as a cook, and I'm going, when do you sleep? And I guess that was answered. <laughs> you know, you know uh, what's was, funny is that with more sleep, I get more done. Right. And so the fallacy that I told myself or the lie that I told myself is that I can't sleep because I have to work. And it created a huge problem that I've not been able to stop. It's just this huge thing. That's this lie that I told myself that I have to be working all the time or else I'll never get anything done. With getting good sleep, I get more done because I'm more focused. I'm faster to make decisions. I'm faster to type out an email message or, uh, you know, respond to something that needs to be responded to. It just really has made a huge difference. I'm able to sleep more, get more done. More. Yeah, well, on that note, and, and, and you'll testify to this, you've noticed that when 10 or 11 o'clock comes up, comes around, finally, you're like, I mean, there's nothing left. Yeah. No, you done. know, <laughs> you know, you know that when 10 or 11 o'clock rolls around and you're tired and it's time to go to bed, you can honestly say, you know what? I accomplished a lot of stuff today and um, and you actually feel it. You feel your body going toodles. You know, you yeah. feel you're, you're tired and you're yeah. not just jumping around and like saying, you know, I got to do this and I got to do that. And oh, I got to do this. And, you're, and you get to your computer. and You're like, no, click, yeah. done, go to bed. Well, it's not the guy. It's it's usually on Mondays and Tuesdays. It's the voice. When when the voice is over, then I'm done. <laughs> or a hockey game. It's either a hockey game or the voice. Those are really the only two things I watch. So uh, all right. So Matthew, thank you. We got to land this ship, and uh, I appreciate uh, through the tech the technological crud that was going on in the planes and your cardboard boxes. <laughs> that's all. That's all. Uh, all wax. <laughs> Very what, I, what I make is it's, I make a core for people who carve. Oh. They dip the candles and I carve the can and they carve the candles. So they become giant pieces of artwork. Oh yeah. My kids do that with soap. Oh, yeah. My kids do that with soap. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Matthew, thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead and drop you down. I really appreciate it very yeah. much. I appreciate everything uh, sticking cool. with me uh, and then helping me through the process of ordering and everything else that you helped me with. No problem. All right. All right. So that's it. Um, I appreciate it. I hope uh, that didn't sound too much like a, a commercial because I really that's not the intent of this uh, video. Um, but um, just to give you good information about the thing that's going well with me. So I want to pass it on to you that this is um, something that uh, I think can really help uh, many, many people. Again, um, I, the testimonials I've seen, the how um, Kim and um, who else talked about the dog, Aaron. And I didn't know if there's somebody else talked about how it's even helped their dog. And so I know they have dog products that are available too. Uh, I definitely will be making those available. I'm going to see how I can become um, even more a part of that company and see what it is that I can do to sell the products, um, especially to our, our dog family and our, uh, our people there at Falco Canine Academy. Cause there's so many dogs that have anxiety, so many dogs that have so many issues that I believe could be helped out with the CBD oil along with really good solid training from Falco Canine Academy, right? So you combine the two best things on the planet, Falco Canine Academy, CBD oil, put them together, you have the perfect dog and the perfect human dog relationship, right? Fantastic. All right, that is it. Nobby, thanks for joining me. I see a lot of people on there. Uh, Nobby, Ula, Andrew, uh, Jason, uh, Chris from Find It Canine Tech, uh, Detection. Uh, Ula, Aaron, uh, Mar Mario, Mario, you're on. Uh, glad to see you uh, on here, Mario. Uh, we miss you. Come around and have some beers with us. Cindy, uh, Cristina De La Fuentes, Hernandez, uh, and Barbara McLean. Uh, Yael is on here. Okay, don't forget tomorrow, those of you that are still on, or not tomorrow, don't forget later tonight, I'm going to be interviewing April Roga. Uh, she's the host of the, the, the show, uh, Net Friending. Uh, she has a son who's autistic, and um, April is um, uh, Autism Awareness Month, and we're going to be talking with her about uh, her and her son, some of the thing that she, things that she's gone through, some of the things that uh, I'm hoping to ask her about, what are some of the things that she thinks need to be, uh, people need to be made aware of, right? If it's going to be Autism Awareness uh, Month, 
Uh, I want to know what she thinks that we should be aware of. What's important to know? What organizations you should be giving to? Uh, I think she uh, really does seem to like the Tim Tebow Foundation uh, for their help with special needs children overall. Uh, I've heard uh, Tim Tebow speak. He seems uh, like a fantastic guy, so I'm sure that his foundation is the same. But uh, we'll be talking about that tonight uh, at about uh, 5.30 Pacific Standard Time. I believe that's 8.30 East, uh, Eastern Time. And so we're going to be talking about that. And again, uh, uh, I... Probably tomorrow uh, from Falco Field, I'll be talking about uh, uh, CBD oil in regard to dogs. And that will be tomorrow. I'm not sure what time. I'm guessing somewhere around 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We'll be talking about that live from Falco Field. Uh, and um, so there you go. All right. So I hope this was helpful to you. Let me know if I can help you anyway. Maybe connect you with Matthew or uh, the website. I put the link in the comments so you can click on that. And you will see it'll take you right there to the website. And you can uh, read more about it. You could do your own research um, and uh, and just make your own decision. But I, um, if I can help you out in any way uh, in making that decision, just let me know. I'll send you the pictures of my uh, my blood pressure results, my pre-diabetes results, and whatever else you want to see. You can watch me sleep. I'll put a camera on in my room while I'm sleeping, and you can see me sleeping and hear me snore. Uh, I don't sleep with clothes on, so that's the only downer. <laughs> All right, that's it. I'm going to end this broadcast. All right, I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye.